All right, so in the previous video, we set up the voice monkey. So that's what is showing on our screen right now. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. It's super easy to set up. Basically, you just have to enable the skill in the Alexa app, then log in to the voicemonkey.io website with your Amazon account. All right, so we have it logged in and we created a monkey here. All right, so when you go into your Alexa app, if you go to devices and then slide over and go to all devices, you can see that Justin Home, which is the name of our monkey, is right here. And if we tap on that, um, it will say, you know, that it's basically a doorbell which that's what the voice monkey does. You can create up to 300 virtual doorbells to use um, as we're gonna show here. So now what we can do is we can go back and go to the more section at the bottom of our Alexa app and go over to routines. What we need to do is create a routine using our monkey. So if you tap the plus sign and we enter a routine name, so I'm just gonna put monkey in front of it, just in home test and tap on next. That is our name. And then when this happens, tap the plus sign. We're gonna tap on smart home and we're gonna choose Justin home right here. I'm gonna save that. And then we can add an action. So maybe we just want Alexa to say something when I come home. So we're just gonna tap that and just say customized. So just type in what you want her to say and tap on next and then tap on next at the top and then you just need to choose your device so we're just going to tap down and we're going to choose our echo office here and tap on save all right so you can see that our routine has been saved successfully when we click on this trigger what it's going to do is it's going to go into this um, routine and it's going to um, trigger this first thing justin home is pressed it's basically going to press that doorbell it's going to say this text on the echo office so let's give that a shot real quick and just click on the trigger here hey justin will be home in a few minutes all right so you can see that works now the great thing is is we can trigger this using sharp tools now so now what we have done is we've created a trigger that can run an Alexa routine. So if we go over to the playground section in the Voice Monkey IO website, and if you were to take this and copy this over to Sharp Tools, you would be able to trigger this right in Sharp Tools. Basically, if you type anything in here, um, it's going to add that at the end. So you just wanna make sure that this is blanked out. Um, also, I should, should note, you can change it to any language or any um, accent that you would like. I'm just gonna keep it the default for now, but have fun playing with that. And also you can send um, images, videos, and websites, and also send um, notifications as well. So at the bottom here, you can say true or false. All right, so we're not gonna do that. So you just wanna make sure, basically it has your access token and your secret token, and then it has your monkey at the end so ours is monkey equals Justin home, and then you can um, copy it. And you don't actually have to highlight it up here. You can just click copy down here and it says URL copied. So you know it's copied. All right, so we've gone over to Sharp Tools now and we're in the rules section. So at the top, we can just tap the plus sign. All right, so we have the announce when Justin is home and the trigger here is going to be when I get home. So we're just going to do an event trigger. I'm gonna choose a device and we're gonna choose iPhone Justin. And I actually have it as a virtual switch. Changes to on, save that. So basically when I come home, it's going to trigger that virtual switch to be on. And we're going to tap the plus sign here and we're gonna do an action. Now we have a new option at the end, HTTP. Tap that, and we're going to do a git at the top here, and we're gonna paste in our path, and then all we have to do is tap on save, 
And now what it's going to do is when the switch changes to on, it's going to run that Alexa routine right from our sharp tools. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tap on save here. All right, so our rule is now saved. So if I bring over my sharp tools dashboard that I use on my phone, all right, so I'm just gonna trigger my virtual switch to be off and then I will trigger it to be on. Hey, Justin will be home in a few minutes. And there you can see it runs the Alexa routine right from our sharp tools. That's exactly what we want. So that's great. But what if you wanted to send it to multiple devices? So I don't really wanna send it just to the office because what if the people that need to hear it are downstairs or in another room or something like that? So how you can do that is go back over to your Alexa app and you're gonna go back into the routines. We're going to create a new routine here. We're just gonna say, so I'm just gonna say Justin home more as we're gonna announce it on more devices. Tap on next. We're still gonna use our voice monkey doorbell to trigger the routine. So when this happens, we're going to go to smart home and then we're gonna find the Justin home and we're gonna go ahead and save that. And now in the action spot, what we want to do here is instead of choosing um, Alexa says at the top, we want to choose messaging right here. And in messaging, you can do two things. You can do a notification. Um, so you could send a notification to the Alexa app so anyone that had the Alexa app installed on their phone, that would give them a notification that you got home. You don't really need to use that because you're probably using sharp tools and maybe pushover or smart things. You so probably don't need that, but you can send an announcement. So we're going to tap here. All right. So you just type in the message that you want and then tap on next. And then here, what it's going to do, it's going to give you a list of devices. So you could announce it on all devices. I'm just going to do it on the two that are right near me here. So we're just going to tap on the next button here and the next again. So now what it's going to do when we run the same rule that we just ran is going to announce it on two devices. Now we do need to save this and let's go ahead and delete the first one that we did, which was the Justin home test. Just gonna tap on that. And then at the top, tap on the three dots. And then here you can tap delete routine. All right, so our routine has been deleted. And now we have Justin home more. So it's a little bit different text and it's going to announce on two devices that are right near me here. So I'm just going to toggle my virtual switch to be off and then toggle it to be back on again. Just a heads up, Justin will be home in a few minutes. All right, so you can see that both of them then did that announcement. Now, the only bad thing about this is it does make that sound at the beginning, but it does get your attention. Um, so for things like this, it will probably be fine. Um, obviously, I'm not coming home that often. So rather than doing it that way, there's another way we can do it here. What we need to do is go back over to our voice monkey and let's go to our dashboard. And then we're going to go to manage monkeys and let's add another monkey. So we're just gonna tap add monkey and let's just call this echo office. Add that monkey and we are going to add echo parents. Now those are the two echo devices that are um, right next to me here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the playground and we're going to choose Echo Office first. And then we're going to put in our announcement text right here. All right, so I chose Echo Office and then I said, I hope dinner is ready because Justin will be home in a few minutes. And then over here, you can see that it's put in that whole long announcement right here. And it's just put in a percent 20 for these spaces. So we're just going to copy this URL and then we're gonna go over to Sharp Tools, our Monkey Justin Home Announcement, tap on that. So our trigger is going to be the same. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit this action. 
So we're going to just replace this with this longer um, text here. And we're going to update that. Then we're going to tap the plus sign here. Tap the action. Choose HTTP. And then what we need to do is just go and grab the other. So if we choose this to be echo parents, you can see the only thing that really changes in the path is where it says monkey equals. It says echo dash parents. So we're just going to copy that. Come back over here. Come back to our sharp tools and paste in that path. And save that. So we're just going to tap on save. All right, so for this to work, what we need to do is go into our routines. We're going to enter a routine name, and I'm just going to call this Echo Office. Tap on next. And then when this happens, we're going to choose our smart home again. And then we're going to find our Echo Office, which is here. And when Echo Office is pressed, that's what we want save and then at the bottom here we're going to add an action and in this case we are going to choose choose skill and then tap on your skills and then we're going to choose voice monkey routine trigger and this will open the voice monkey routine trigger and text to speech so we're going to tap on next and where it says alexa respond from just choose which echo office all right, so now if we make myself present again. I hope dinner is ready because Justin will be home in a few minutes. So you can see that worked on our Echo. Now what we need to do is do the same thing for the parents Echo. So we're going to tap the plus sign here. Tap on next. When this happens, choose our smart home again. Choose the Echo parents. Tap on save. And the action at the bottom is going to be skills, your skills, and voice monkey. Tap on next, and then choose your device as echo parents. There we go. And tap on save. All right, and now if I make myself present. I hope dinner is ready because Justin will be home in a few minutes. All right, and there you can see it announced from both but it did not make that annoying sound at the beginning. So you can do that either way. Now this is going to be a little bit more tricky because you're going to have to create a routine for all of your devices. But once you set that up, you can use any of your devices. And all you would have to do is come into here and you would just grab this part and then you could put in your echo name and then you can type in your announcement and, or you can just come back over to the voice monkey and just use this um, playground here which automatically generates the api url for you and then copy and paste that into sharp tools so you could see i could add all of my echo devices have them all as a separate action and have it say whatever i want as long as I have one routine in for each device. So that's probably what I'm gonna do most of the time, unless I have to do like an announcement where I wanna get people's attention to make that sound in the beginning. So that is really all I wanted to show you in this video. As you can see, using the voice monkey is very simple. Right now, this is free. And right now you can make up to 300 voice monkeys. And then you can use any trigger it is in your smart things in any of your sharp tools rules and you can have it say anything at the end because now you have full control over your alexa routines in sharp tools just by using a voice monkey trigger it's definitely not as good as echo speaks was because echo speaks would actually add your echo devices into your smart things so I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, which I think you might on this one because it's a little bit complicated, um, just leave them in the comments. I read every single comment and I respond to every single comment as well. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.